I must admit, it's not every day a stranger pulls you over at the side of the road to give you a packet of custard cream biscuits. Oh, you did it. Oh my god. If I could uh, if I could describe myself in one word, that word would be idiot. I, I forgot to stretch yesterday. I realized I woke up this morning and I could barely stand up because my legs were so stiff. And it turns out I pretty much forgot to stretch, which you should never do after cycling 53 kilometers. Today we're cycling 56 kilometers from Murakami Station to Niigata Station, making it the longest day so far of the three we've done. And to make things even more difficult, I've now got to accept my mini challenge of the day. Well, this is disturbing. He's the only normal looking one here. Today, I thought I'd let my erstwhile assistants, my crew, uh, have the first try and put their ideas into the capsule toy machine. So let's see what comes up. Doesn't want to come out. <laughs> oh well, I won't have to do any challenges today. There we go. All right, first challenge of the day is, oh for God's sake, interact with locals. Ask three people to say journey across Japan on camera. Who wrote this? Whose idea was this? Uh, that was my one. Your one? Yeah, you son of a... Lucky you didn't get my other one. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's going to be pretty hard actually. Japanese people are so shy. I always feel uncomfortable sometimes just going up to strangers and randomly asking them things, so... It's actually going to be quite scary. I'm quite nervous about this one. wondering how I'm navigating on this trip, what we're doing. I'm using Google Maps basically, um, but it's just asked me to go through somebody's farm just to cut through a field. So be careful how much faith you place in Google Maps if you're uh, cycling through the Japanese countryside. You might end up in a somewhat precarious situation. I must admit, it's not every day a stranger pulls you over at the side of the road to gift you a packet of custard cream biscuits. Oh, you did it. I was cycling down the road and I saw this little old woman kind of waving at me, so I pulled over and uh, she tried to invite me to some kind of tea party with her and her friends. She even showed me some pictures of other foreigners that had joined her at previous parties. I don't know how that happened, maybe she patrols the roads looking for people to join them, but um, I had to decline as the party, the tea party in question was the complete opposite wrong way. Uh, so I had to say no, unfortunately. I did try to get her to say the key phrase, journey across Japan, but uh, I failed. But at least I got the custard cream biscuits, which are now my lunch. Seeing as, oh wow. Seeing as I didn't really pack anything, this is essentially my newfound lunch. Thank you very much. Are they good though? That's the real question. Oh wow. Like a rye biscuit. I'm absolutely surrounded by flies here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so many. They're so many. I can smell the custard cream biscuits. Why did I stop here? Fucking hell. There are so many mosquitoes, I should, I'm just gonna leave my bike there, walk off. It is definitely gonna be hard to get people to say the phrase journey across Japan for two reasons. The first is, it's actually a, bit, a little bit of a cumbersome phrase to say in Japanese, because it would be something along the lines of journey across Japan, journey across Japan, or something like that. Uh, and second of all, there's absolutely nobody out here. As you can see, I'm essentially in the absolute middle of nowhere. So if the worst comes to the worst, when I get to Niigata City, I'll just turn up into a bar or a restaurant or something and try and find some drunk salarymen because they'll do anything, literally anything. That'll be my last resort, which is probably going to become a reality at this rate. Is that a McDonald's? Well guys, we made it. We're in Niigata City, population 800,000 and an absolute nightmare to cycle through in rush hour, which is now. Yeah. 
could have ended badly. We've done it. We've arrived at Niigata Station and all I can think about is the fact that I haven't completed the challenge yet. Even though my legs feel like they're gonna fall off and I feel like I'm just gonna pass out in this bush, I've gotta complete that challenge. Maybe I can somehow combine it with dinner. Kill two birds with one stone. So I've come to Niigata Station where they've got sake vending machines. I think there's about 100 varieties of sake here from all across Niigata Prefecture. What better place to try and get people to say the phrase journey across Japan than here, whilst they're probably a little bit drunk. So for 500 yen you get five tokens and one little sake cup. You choose which sake you want, pop your token in the machine, get your cup of sake and away you go. It's as simple as that. So uh, I've been here three or four times now. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Usually I just pick ones at random. This time I'm gonna get about 10 or 15 tokens and work my way from one to 15 along the machine. Quite strong. You can see here all the information about the sake. This one is uh, karakuchi, which means it's got a little bit of a spicy aftertaste. You can see the acidity, the alcoholic volume. This one is uh, 15%. It's pretty good and it's also from near Niigata City, you can see on the map as well where it's from, within Niigata Prefecture. It's got to find people to say the phrase journey across Japan now. Hopefully, after they've had a few of these, it should be a lot easier, in theory. What I love about sake is it's just absolutely clear. It's got a very nice refined taste. I feel sophisticated when I drink it, even though I'm quite clearly not in any way. The thing about drinking sake is it hits you very quickly because it's just basically like shotting wine. Um, it kind of looks like water but it's very potent and after just four or five cups of this I can already feel it hitting me. Still maybe I can uh, pluck up the courage to go and speak to someone and ask them to endorse my cycle. That won't be weird will it? This guy looks kind of friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, Nice to meet you. あ、あの、YouTube <笑>そう、頑張ってね。頑張って。今日はね、あの、ちょっと毎日変なチャレンジしてます。<笑><笑> Okay, so I failed to get three people to say the phrase journey across Japan. To be fair, it would have been more, but the staff weren't too happy with a dishevelled foreigner walking around the sake vending machine place harassing other customers. I will try harder for tomorrow's challenge though, whatever it is, and uh, I'm currently trying not to fail my main challenge, which is to make daily videos. If you're wondering how you condense a two-day editing session into just six hours, the secret, my friends, is coffee. Cheap, sugary, disgusting canned coffee. Um, any weight loss that will come from cycling 50 kilometers a day is probably going to be negated by all the disgusting, horrible Emerald Mountain coffee I have to consume to, to edit late into the night. If you know a better way of staying awake in the evening that doesn't involve coffee or caffeine, please leave me a comment below. Um, let me know what the secret is. Uh, actually, speaking of comments, I'm having a whale of a time looking through the comments. Somebody's even started a petition on change.org Chris Broad should wear the pumpkin helmet for the rest of his Across Japan trip. Fuck off, I'm not wearing that helmet. Nothing, nothing will make me put that helmet back on my head. You guys have been absolutely crucifying me for using uh, a mountain bike with big thick tires when I should have just got a road bike. Now, in fairness, my good friend Ryotaro actually chose the bike for me because um, I thought he was a, an expert on, on bicycles. Turns out that was absolute lies, he knows nothing. 
but we have completed leg one of the journey. We've traveled 150 kilometers now, and before leg two of the trip starts, the monstrous journey from Niigata City here to Kyoto, which is about 600 kilometers away, I do thankfully have a day off tomorrow where I can relax and unwind and uh, explore the city. I've got my good friend Hiroyuki, who's actually showing us around, giving us a whirlwind tour of Niigata, so I'm looking forward to that. For now though, guys, I am gonna get back to editing the video. If you are watching this, at least you know I made it. At least you know I survived drinking all this disgusting coffee. Wherever you may be watching from out there in the big wide world, thanks for watching and for being a part of today's trip, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for what promises to be a somewhat more relaxing day. See you then, guys. Take care. Have a good one. This is actually the first food challenge I might be able to complete. Have you ever eaten this yourself? <laughs> no. Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. <laughs>